Welcome to Lesson 1 on Similar Polygons. When we have similar polygons, then a polygon is just an enlargement or a reduction of another polygon. And as a reminder, a polygon is just a closed shape made up of straight lines. Now when we have two similar polygons, then they'll have the same shape, but not the same size. And since they're similar, corresponding side lengths are proportional. So here we have two similar polygons, both rectangles. So if I take side length AB and divide that by the corresponding side length EF, that should be equal to side length BC divided by FG. So the corresponding side lengths are not going to be equal, but the corresponding angles are equal. In this rectangle, all angles measure 90 degrees, and in the similar polygon, they measure 90 as well. So when we have an enlargement or a reduction of another polygon, the angle measurements stay the same. Now the squiggly line, called a tilde, is the symbol that we use for similar objects. So in the case of the similar polygons above, we can say that ABCD is similar to EFGH. And the order that you write the vertices is important. Here, AB is going to be proportional to EF. BC is going to be proportional to FG. CD is proportional to GH. And AD is proportional to EH. Now, example one, we have to draw two similar polygons of the figure below. Well, since a similar polygon is an enlargement or a reduction of another polygon, then we just need to pick a scale factor and then apply that to each side length. Now we normally need to have a ruler and a protractor to make a similar polygon, but here we have a grid so we can just count blocks. So now this side length here is two. So if I use a scale factor of 2, I'm going to double everything, then my side length is going to be 4 blocks. Now if this is 4 blocks wide, mine is going to be 8 blocks wide. So I'll count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blocks. Then I'll go down 4. Now in the middle here, this is up 2 blocks, and then it's also down two blocks, so I'm going to go up four, one, two, three, four, and down four, one, two, three, four, then join all of those up with a ruler. So now, if I get out my protractor and I measure this angle and this angle, they should be the same. This angle and this angle should be the same as well. So all the corresponding angles should be equal. Now I'm going to use a scale factor of one half. So all the side lengths are going to be half as big. So instead of being two blocks high, just be one block high. Instead of four blocks across, it will be two blocks across. In the middle, I'll only go up one and go down one. So now again, if I measure this angle, it should be the same as the other two. And this angle should be the same as the other two as well. Now in example two, I have to determine if the two polygons are similar. Now we have to check two things. Number one, if all the angle measurements, all the corresponding angle measurements are the same. And number two, make sure all the corresponding side lengths are proportional. So I'm going to check to see if all the side lengths are proportional first. So I'm going to take this side length here, 6.6 .6 centimeters, and divide that by 6 centimeters. That should be equal to 4 centimeters divided by 3 centimeters. 
that should also be equal to 13.53 centimeters divided by 12.1 centimeters. And the last two sides, 4.62 divided by 4.2. So if these two polygons are similar, then all of these fractions should work out to be the same number. So on my calculator, I'm going to put in 6.6 .6 divided by 6. Doing that, I get 1.1. 1 .1. 4 divided by 3 is 1.3 repeating. So right away, I know that the polygons are not similar since they're not proportional. I'm just going to work out the next two fractions, though. The next one works out to be 1.118 with the 1.8 repeating. So again, that shows they're not proportional. And the last one, I get 1.1. So a couple of the sides are proportional, but not all of them. So this means that, no, they are not similar since not all of the sides are proportional. Now for the last one, we can just look at this right away and say that they are not similar because the corresponding angles are not equal. 60 and 72 are not equal, and 35 and 42 are not equal. So we can say, no, since corresponding angles are not equal. 